Hey there guys, it's Lee here for iMind Blocks. Welcome back to another video. So I just wanted to do a quick update video regarding the Zcash miner. So the first video that I done was a Zcash miner, but it specifically only connected to the nice hash pool. And lots of people were kind of saying they it wasn't exactly what they wanted because that particular miner only exchanged for Bitcoins when people really wanted it, particularly in the start to mine Zcash uh, for themselves and hold Zcash coins. Um, so since that time, a the nice hash miner has been forked um, to connect to multiple pools. So now you can connect it directly to the supernova pool and you can use the same miner to um, Zcash coins rather than exchanging uh, for Bitcoin. So in this video, I'm just gonna be showing you how to uh, do that with the forked version of that same miner. So we're just gonna start off at the supernova pool. Or Zcash, um, so it's zec.supernova.cc, and I'll just go directly to the getting started uh, page there. Um, for you, if you just click on help, it will open up the same page. So, then what we need to do is download the updated version of the miner. So, uh, I believe it is this one. So, the fork is done by OC Miner. So let's just download this. Um, I'm going to be downloading the SSE2 version, which is the uh, code set that my CPU su um, supports. Uh, if you have a newer CPU, one that's made within the last sort of two to three years, uh, you can probably just use the top miner, which um, is one that supports AVX. So just check on your, you know, what your chip uh, supports. So I'm just going to download the SSE2 version. Let's download it. And I'm just going to extract that. Okay, so we've got this a couple of programs there. We've got the actual miner program and a couple of uh, DLLs. And then we've got this NEZ coin mine and a, it's a command line shortcut. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to create a batch file because um, I find that's the easiest way to uh, work with these uh, programs. Uh, let me just copy this. We'll go back to that same folder and it'll be easy for you, you guys as well. So I'll just use this batch file and I'll show you exactly what's inside. So if you go to edit, so I just need to make some changes here. So the program is just called nheqminer.exe and then we've got the pool location set there. Then we've got our username, which is risky fire, then dot, and then we've got our worker name and P password it should be X from memory. And the CPU threads, I'm just gonna set that to four. So I'm just gonna save this now. And um, that should be all the information that we need in there. Oh, sure, just double check, make sure I save that. Um, now if I start the actual batch file, it should connect to the supernova pool and start mining Zcash and obviously those funds will get credited to the pool and then from there we can actually withdraw them. So let's start the miner now. So you can see it's connected to the actual pool, supernova. Uh, we're mining on four threads and then we've received new jobs. It just confirms our worker details. Then we've got accepted shares and then you can see the hash rate. It's just started off there and then we are basically mining. So this is mining Zcash, it's mining to the pool. So your earnings are gonna be in Zcash and hopefully you guys are happy. So I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm not gonna go into too much more detail on this video, just um, a short one, um, just to get you guys up and running with Zcash. And um, hopefully you found it helpful. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.